My name is Sergeant Kind Newell, uh, Bandy Troop 214 Cav. My name is uh, First Lieutenant Akeem Saeed. I'm a uh, platoon leader in uh, Dragon Company 121 Infantry. I am First Lieutenant Remington Ponce Poor, and I'm in 214 Cav. I'm uh, First Lieutenant Nathan Perry. I'm with uh, the 121 Gimlets. I wanted to come out here and get my ESB, is what I'm doing. Uh, but it sets you apart from your peers, it sets you as an example to your soldiers. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity to do well here. I wanted to get my EIB because, one, it is a, uh, it is a badge that represents basically the basic level, skill level tasks uh, that every soldier should know, especially every infantryman should know. Um, and as an infantry officer, uh, I felt uh, responsible um, uh, to learn those tasks so that it, that would make a good impression on my soldiers and so that I'd have a better understanding of the, ta the daily tasks uh, and standards that they're held to. I think that what separates uh, high performing units and low performing units is doing the basics right. I think that the best units in the Army, they do the basics at an extremely high level of proficiency and I think that EIB, ESB, is part of demonstrating that elite level of uh, proficiency at your basic soldier tasks. I wanted to come out and get my EIB to motivate my soldiers um, to come out for uh, subsequent EIBs and get theirs to show them that anyone can get their EIBs and uh, these skill level one tasks are something that, uh, that we should all be proficient in for our jobs as infantrymen. Physically, we've got enough sets and reps in doing rodeos with 214. Uh, we have multiple days of doing it, and then we were able to come out here and do the full two-week train-up. And uh, also, as, as scouts and 19 Deltas, typically we, we are uh, familiar with a lot of these tasks. I stuck with two people. Uh, each day we did a different lane, and every, every single lane we would practice it uh, four or five times over and over again until we got it perfectly. I worked with my partner from Best Ranger and then another member of our team and the three of us worked together so we had a system where we'd go to the lane uh, we would review the content before we tested and then we would go through three repetitions exactly like the testing conditions would be when we had three perfect reps in a row uh, we knew that we were ready to test we drilled all 30 lanes as hard as possible during the short train up time that we had um, giving us um, good confidence going into testing week There was a lot of challenging times. I didn't, uh, it's, it's true when they say just take one go at a time at the beginning. I honestly, I didn't expect to make it to right at the end, you know. The uh, biggest challenge of EIB is that every single task uh, at EIB is pretty simple uh, in itself, but cumulatively the tasks uh, can get muddled up. The sequences uh, can get uh, mixed up. Uh, so you have to be good at uh, retaining information quickly um, and learning it quickly, retaining it testing on it and then moving on from it. There was equipment that I was unfamiliar with. Uh, my background in the Army, I'm an armor officer, but I hadn't touched heavy weapons since my basic course. And so learning the Javelin, learning the AT-4, uh, learning the Mark 19, those weapons, it was the first time for me to really touch them and get hands on. The most challenging times that we had throughout these lanes was uh, dealing with stress, dealing with heart rate, dealing with nerves in a testing condition or in a testing environment and uh, persevering through that and uh, getting, our, getting our goes. I think it's gonna leave uh, a big impression on my soldiers. I think that hopefully they'll strive to achieve the same. And I think, yeah, they should come up and get their badge, set themselves apart from their peers. And uh, you only have to do it once, you know? And if you make it, you, you don't have to do it again. The impression it leads on, uh, leaves on soldiers, one, it's, um, it inspires soldiers uh, who don't have it to want to go and get it. And then the soldiers that do have it, it motivates them to achieve even greater things. I hope that as soldiers go through this training, it builds confidence uh, in themselves, that they know that uh, when they get their EIB or their ESB, that they know they are an expert, and that encourages them to act like it, know it, believe it, and then imbue that same mentality uh, in the soldiers that they'll lead in the future. I want to motivate my soldiers 
to show them that their leadership supports them in every uh, career advancement move that they want to make, show them that an EIB is important for them in regards to their skill proficiency as infantrymen and uh, also for their career progression for the future.